What is going on you guys? Brandon again, coming back with another great review. Today we got the Sasquatch, what is this? We got the Sasquatch Pine Tar Deodorant, the all natural deodorant from uh, Dr. Squatch. And I'm gonna go over the pros, the cons, what I liked, what I didn't like, first impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of it. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. When I initially received this Pine Tar, oh, there you go, you can already tell. Uh, I got it in the mail. It's not necessarily their fault, but the top here was cracked, it was chipped. And then uh, as you can see here, it, it fell apart. So when I came in the mail, the top was already completely ruined. And then when I went to go pack this thing, the top kept coming off and then the deodorant kept getting everywhere in the little bag that I put it in to travel with. So that was already extremely annoying. The, um, I feel like they need to make the top part on this a little bit, you know, stronger, more fortified. That way when you get it in the mail, it's not cracked. And if you drop this thing, uh, you know, if you were to actually drop this thing and it falls, the top is gonna completely crack in half and then you're gonna be left with like what I had, a, uh, a open deodorant, which sucks. So right off the bat, I, I didn't like that. The, the fact that it was, it was uh, you know, cracked, so that kind of sucked. Uh, but then, you know, once you get into it and you actually smell it, it smells freaking amazing. It's a very good smell. So, you know, one of the pros can be the fact that it smells great. I, I actually really enjoy the pine tar smell on the bar of soap. So when I seen they had the natural deodorant with the pine tar, I jumped right on it. Some of the things with it being natural is it's aluminum free. It uses charcoal for odor protection, uh, arrowroot for moisture absorption, probiotics to restore balance. And uh, the ingredients too, it does have a bunch of different ingredients, coconut oil, powder, st sterile alcohol, magnesium hydroxide, beeswax. It does have a bunch of different ingredients in it combined. So the fact that the deodorant is all natural deodorant was pretty cool as well. It's like, oh, you know, all natural. It's not gonna have all the chemicals and stuff that the regular deodorant has. And uh, I just wanna emphasize one thing, and that's the fact that this is deodorant. That is it. It is not any perspirant. So, you know, if you're one of those guys who sweats a lot, this is gonna kinda suck because you're gonna just be having a whole bunch of sweat in your armpits, it just didn't really feel that good. So that was a big negative. If they could make this more antiperspirant or add some antiperspirant features to this, it would make this uh, bar of deodorant much better. Because to me, I just kept feeling like man, I need to reapply this. So I was reapplying it um, like sometimes two or even three times in the same day. But definitely on like the summer days when we we're out and about, I would come back and I felt like I had to reapply it again you know, before we like went to go out to eat or something. Um, so there's that, not any perspirant, just deodorant. And, and again, I did want to reapply it because I felt like the scent kind of didn't quite last all day. So that was another reason why I wanted to apply it halfway through the day. So, you know, just keep that in mind. It does smell very good, but you might need to reapply it more than once. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to give a shout out to my man, Brian Hale. He uh, hooked me up with the new intro and outro. You may have already noticed the intro. You'll see the outro here in a second. But he uh, runs this business, Hail Yeah Digital. There'll be a link down in the description below. You can check him out. You know, if you're just getting into YouTube, if you want a new uh, intro or outro, if that's something that, uh, you know, intrigues you, that's where I got it from. He hooked me up with it. So just a quick shout out. Check him out. Link's in the description. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to actually lasting long, I used this for about a month. I would say give or take a couple days short or a couple days over a month. And uh, I used it all the way down until this part here. You can tell it's basically empty. I mean, that's the bottom part there. You can see the plastic piece. Um, so it does last quite a bit. And again, like I said, I was applying it two or three times a day. So, you know, you could potentially make it last a little bit longer, maybe a month and a half or something. So the price on this, when I bought it, I believe it was $12. I'll put the actual price, I'll bloop it up here. But there'll be a link below for this as well, you can check it out. Uh, I do believe there's other scents. Could be wrong now. Uh, you can check that out. And uh, if I were to rate this, you know, one out of five deodorant sticks, I'd probably have to give this like a three deodorant stick rating, just for the fact that I felt like I had to apply it more often. 
and uh, it's not antiperspirant, which was kind of a bummer for me. But the reason I did rate it three is because it's a natural sticky deodorant, so it's kind of like, you know, it's supposed to be healthier for you and whatnot in your armpit. Believe it or not, uh, actually absorbs a lot of things that you put on there. It's kind of like sticking something underneath your tongue. Your body's going to absorb it. Your armpit's the same way. So whatever you put under there, it's gonna go into your body. So the fact that this is a natural bar just kind of appeals to me. You know, if they could uh, make it a little bit better, you know, try to bring it up, you know, because like the bars you're using now, like the antiperspirant uh, deodorant bars that you get like Old Spice, uh, which is what I use, which like what I used before and what I'm using now after I've used this bar, I would give that a five out of five, uh, you know, bars of deodorant, because that's, it's good, you know, and I'm not stinking, I don't need to reapply, I'm not super sweaty, so it's definitely five out of five. You know, if they could step this up a little bit, maybe, you know, rework the top, and maybe go back to the drawing board and try to make it, uh, the scent last a little bit longer and get some antiperspirant features in there, this could be a very good contender, especially with it being a natural bar. Uh, this is my first natural bar I've ever used, so I don't really know how it compares to other ones, but compared to regular deodorant, it still has a little bit further to go to be a bar that I would use on a daily basis that I would want to continue using over my trial period that I used it for. And the fact that the price is very high compared to regular deodorant, because you're paying $12 for one of these and it lasts a month. so. Some take into consideration. Overall though, I did like the bar. I just wish it was a little bit better than what it is. Uh, and again, there's gonna be a link down below if you wanna check this out, you can pick it up. And uh, yeah, just quick, easy review. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, it's greatly appreciated. I got some merch you can check out down below as well. Uh, that's for sale. And uh, you can get 25% off supplements from Redcon One, so. Yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and see y'all next weekend.